The supply chain crisis shows no signs of letting up as container ships wait in limbo at the port of Los Angeles. It means some store shelves are empty and prices are way up. But the head of Baltimore's port may have a solution. There's no backlog of ships here. In fact, there were so many trucks waiting to pick up containers, traffic around the port was at a standstill this afternoon. WJZ's Live, Kelsey Kushner explains how Baltimore could play a key role in ending this crisis. Kelsey. Yeah, Vic. Well, fortunately, tonight the traffic looks nothing like what we saw earlier today. Now, we did speak with a truck driver. He says that the port of Baltimore is now becoming the hot spot during this shipping crisis, and the head of the port is now hoping that more ships that are stuck in Los Angeles will make their way here. Long lines and lots of impatience. With this backup, it's making it hard for us truckers to get through. Marvin Mangum was one of the dozens of truck drivers in standstill traffic at the port of Baltimore on Tuesday. The containers sitting in the port over on the west coast, they're all starting to come in now, and it's got us backed up. Backed up for hours, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Right now, there's no major backlog of ships at the port of Baltimore. In fact, port officials say amid the shipping crisis, they've added business. We're doing great in Maryland. Executive Director of the Maryland Port Administration, William Doyle, says he hopes to take Take advantage of backlog in California to lure even more ships here. He says in the past 14 months, 23 massive container ships diverted mid voyage to come here because they knew they could come in, get unloaded, and get back to sea again quickly. Your retailers and your small businesses and your folks are saying, why do we got to come into Los Angeles, Long Beach? Should we use more ports around the country? And I, I think we're seeing that now. At stores like 10,000 Villages in Fells Point. We have things coming from Bangladesh, India, the West Bank, crafted in Kenya, and fields of Cambodia. Alberto Macias says so far they haven't felt any major problems. The owner has been planning ahead and stocking up on inventory. And hopefully things will be okay, but if not, I think we have enough material to get us through. But he says there's still a growing concern ahead of the holidays. If we don't get that thing we want to get or whatever we want to get, that's okay. Now, unloading the ships is just the first step in this import supply chain. All of that cargo then needs to be loaded onto trucks or trains. And the Port Administration says that they do have a pretty decent amount of truck drivers, but they are always looking for more. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ.